welcome to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. Uh, welcome to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your beautiful friendship. Thank you for your nice comments as well underneath my videos. A big congratulations to this week's winner. Be sure to drop your comments below for your chance to win a free reading with me. And be sure to check your, your notifications as well because I am still waiting to hear back from one of my most recent winners. So be sure to check your notifications as well. And if you have stumbled across this channel for the very first time, I do pick a card readings on this channel. I do try to release at least three or four times a week so be sure to check back for content that you like and be sure to drop your comments below for any content that you would like to see covered here as well um, I also offer a chance for my subscribers to win a free reading with me and all you have to do is drop your comment below any of my videos this month be sure to leave or hit your notification bell and your like button it helps me to share this content it helps me to bring you guys more content and it helps me to notify you if you're chosen the winner I will notify you via the comment section if you are chosen and I'll give you clear instructions on how to reach out to me via one of the links below any of my videos. So be sure to do that if you're just new to the channel or if you are just stumbling here for the very first time. Um, pull up a chair, get cozy, and we're going to have a little chat today because we're all friends when we gather around my table. For today's pick a card topic, we're looking at a contact or a, a connection on your mind rather, and we're asking about whether the two of you will ever speak again. Will you ever have any type of closure with this person? Will you ever speak with this person? What is the future of the connection? We have three piles to choose from today and we're using the, I believe it's called the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot, um, just as the headers for today's readings. And we have pile number one here with the Green Adventurine. And we also have the Star Energy. Pile number two with the Rose Quartz and the Ace of Fire. Pile number three here with the, um, I believe it's a, a red agite or something. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. For pile number three with the red stone. And we also have here the mirror, which is the the moon, I believe. Yeah, the moon energy here for pile number three. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be a message waiting today from spirit. And my timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump into pile number one. Again, today we're asking spirit, are you ever going to speak to this person again? Will you ever get any type of closure? What is the future of this connection on your mind? Pile number one. Hello, pile number one, you are drawn to the green adventurine or to the star energy here, and this is your reading. The person on your mind, will you ever speak to them again? Will you ever get any type of closure? What is the future of this connection? Um, we do have the star energy, which can speak to Aquarius energy. You can also see that this little child is laying in this egg. It looks like there's so much potential maybe that you still feel. Um, you still feel that there is the connection that is alive and well, perhaps incubating in the unknown or in this separation that the two of you are experiencing right now. And this can also speak to a healing cycle that maybe we need to start to invest in as well. A redirection, somebody who feels really far away too. So maybe even geographically, maybe they're living really far away, or maybe you're not in contact at all with this person, or you haven't been for some time. And it just feels like it's like we're wishing upon something. We're wishing for more contact. We're wishing, wishing for deeper connection here. So let's ask about the future of this connection for pile number one, please. It also feels like this is a connection that maybe never got off the ground in the first place in the romantic realm. Like it had so much potential when we were young and it feels like a very, it feels like we fell in love when we were young or that's when everything was established. We have the six of pentacles. Will you ever speak again? Will you ever get closure in this connection? The lovers, Gemini energy, very strong air element here. And there's this huge sort of pressure. I'm just looking at these cards just flipped over. There's this huge pressure to communicate. Like we really want to communicate. Maybe you're even feeling like the thoughts of this person are really amping up in your mind right now. And you're wondering if they want to communicate with you too. There's this feeling about just being driven in different directions. And there's also, I feel like a lot of practical elements that weren't in place in the past that are now obvious obstacles to reconnection you have the ten of swords we have the hierophant coming in the reversal and it just really feels like this should have evolved we've learned some really powerful lessons here when it comes to hesitation because this should have evolved the two of you i feel like are very mirrored in, in your feelings for each other especially in the past of this connection 
And for someone watching, I feel like your hope is starting to wane about what the future holds here. And, and it's difficult because if the future is waning and what we can expect to see as far as progress or more information, the attachment isn't waning. Like we're still kind of holding on. Even if we've moved into other realms, other commitments, it's like we're not 100% fully present there or it's there's a piece of us that's always with this other person we have the king of pentacles and we have the ace of wands and now this ace of wands speaks about the spark that perhaps never got fueled into a bonfire you know it's like we maintained with just a little stick a little spark and we should have added more fuel to it in the past and that has just maintained it's kind of like the olympic torch it just keeps traveling and traveling and traveling no matter where you go in life it's traveling along with you and that's because you feel that this is like a deep seated connection that was meant for you or you were meant to cross paths in the in cross paths in the past of this connection and you may feel like you also are meant to cross paths in the future as well and you're kind of holding on to that energy even if maybe you can't move into commitment cycles maybe you're just looking for closure maybe you're just really hoping that closure will come in for you and this person and it almost feels like Despite the obstacles, there's still a part of your heart that wants to keep that doorway open a crack for possibility. I just got this symbol or this image of this a little chick that's breaking out of an egg but can't quite get out of the egg. I know if we help that chick, you can do damage to the chick. Like you can break blood vessels that are still attached. So there's just this feeling about um, outgrowing my shell but still not having enough capacity to speak the truth about this connection that's always on my mind so maybe you feel like you're outgrowing your environment and it's really starting to catapult you into thoughts of the past we have the reflection the five of swords will you ever speak again will there be closure in this connection we have the mirror the hanged man we have the Four of Wands, and we also have the Shaman, which is the Magician, and he rules the communication. But there's also this, this continued message about boundaries as well. We have the Lovers, back of the deck, we have the World Tree. And we also have the Seven of Cups, it says mourning. And you can see that there's this skull, it's missing a front tooth. It's like this huge fear of loss. And it's like this person who has left a bit of a gap in your heart space. There's like a gap in your emotions right now. Now I am getting a strong message about the desire for communication, but I'm not getting a strong message that communication is actually going to open up unless somebody acts upon that impulse. There is this feeling about Nothing changes if nothing changes with the Four of Pentacles. If we remain passive, if this person remains passive, if we still keep holding on to the practical realms that we're holding on to. And I feel like somebody could have moved into a marriage, maybe both of you, but somebody could have moved into a marriage at this time. And that's creating complications as well to clarify things. I feel like that's also one of the reasons why somebody is holding back from communication. And it's not that the option is not open to us and it's not that the capability to reach out maybe is like it could be there we're, we're living in this age of the internet it's like very easy sometimes to connect to other people if we choose to but there's just this really strong sense of somebody protecting themselves and not taking that action even though they want to here on the floor we have the seven of wands and the four of pentacles and you can see that there's this beaver that has a lot on its on his mind he's got this huge all these trunks all of these tree trunks on the, on their mind and here's the world tree and all of these seasons that have changed so maybe you guys have been in separation for many many years for somebody watching as well and many many things have changed as well including their environment and their commitment cycles at this time and that's on their mind their determination to sort of be reliable in that environment is on their mind too and that's creating a lot of obstacles for further communication we do have the page of cups though on the back of the deck and their temptation is there and you know when when spirit is showing us a spread in tarot for the future it's very mutable because we have the capacity to see where we're headed and if we see hesitation or restrictions we can't control the other person's actions or intentions but we can go back to our own drawing board and say okay how am i going to deal with this can, am I going to let waves of emotion affect me? What can I do to create change for myself in this situation? 
I'm not putting expectations on other people, but what can I do to create more clarity for myself? And so they don't see it naturally flying into union um, in a natural course for most, but there is this energy, whoops, there is this energy of a sudden information energy popping up out of the blue. It could be coming because we have to go back to the drawing board and reconfigure what actions can be taken in the present moment because I do feel like if you're waiting for this person you may continue to wait that doesn't mean that they won't pop out because they're feeling the same way that you're feeling and the same pressures that you're feeling to communicate the same reflections that you're having about the past the same boundaries perhaps that you are experiencing are present too and so they are feeling the same pressure so they may be the ones to pop out and reach out to you ultimately out of the blue surprisingly but I feel like that's not naturally happening for the collective right now. And so this Page of Cups could come in, could come about because you're going to feel inspired to speak your truth or to gain closure in, type, in some type of way. The problem is, is that there's so much confusion between the two of you. It's like both of you, it's like that song, If the World Was Ending, You'd Come Over Now. In that song, they talk about, it's like, I know that you weren't down for forever. And then she says, I know you weren't down for forever. And it's like this revelation of like, they were actually both down for forever, but they, they made these assumptions about each other and about how they were feeling in the present moment. And that's really what I'm feeling here. But there's a deep seated, they both feel it. You both feel it, this deep seated connection. And I feel like if communication does pop up out of the blue for you, it's it's not being shown as a as a it's not being shown as a outcome, like a permanent outcome or a promised outcome at this time, but we did see that page of cups. But if it does come out, I feel like boundaries will be communicated at that time. Or the truth about our commitment cycles will be communicated at that time. So there'll be, that's the hesitation, is commitment cycles is the hesitation here. You have lost lands, soul memories and gifts, you've done this before. And this isn't your first time, I also see star bathing, I just saw star bathing. This isn't your first time perhaps experiencing this connection with this person or experiencing some type of connection with this person in a lifetime. Because the lovers does speak about that deep seated connection from the past. And we have deep cellular healing now, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. And because Spirit says we can't rely on communication popping up for us, um, the spark is there, the desire is there, the, the desire for change and more information is there, but it's not being shown as a promised outcome. And because that's being shown to us in the way that it is, this star energy is really relating to healing cycles um, and embracing this present energy to start that process and that could mean sort of forgiving yourself and other people that could mean letting go of your expectations right now and surrendering to surrendering to all of these thoughts letting them come up so we can bear witness to them and surrendering to what's going to be revealed and surrendering to the present moment but they are encouraging you to release your expectations about further contact so that you can they're almost asking you to sink into the void not because they want you to feel isolated or lonely, but because they want you to eliminate the distraction that this connection has created for you in the present moment so that you can truly see the present moment and all of the gifts that want to present for you there in a clear way. And let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one. Thanks for pile number one in relation to this connection. The truth is that you both feel that potential. We have delays in gratification or delays in clarity. Um, we have a lot of things that have not been said between the two of you as well. And that's where it's like there's this feeling about hitting a brick wall, um, feeling frustrated because there's no movement, but not necessarily showing the force that we need to show to create clarity or movement on our own. And they're talking about some of the delays and some of this being very intentional so that we can tackle some of the, the roots of this issue, the roots of this attachment, the roots of our frustration. In the bowl today, we have and we have a, a cupcake. So somebody who wants their cake and eat it too. I often think of environments where we have commitments. L and U and O and I. We have here the star of Aquarius and it's the gray star. I think of the hermit energy. So I do think about uh, Virgo. I, we also have Taurus here, Gemini, very strong as well. And there's this emphasis here on healing and healing despite the separation that we feel from somebody who's very much closely linked to us or healing from someone that we think is a part of us, journeying to wholeness. 
We do have here a dime from 2018. And I think of the Six of Swords and closure. And I feel like we may not get the closure automatically that we hope for here. It may not even turn into closure if we did because the potential is still sort of sitting there. It's like we still have this spark. It's not really closure we're looking for. It's like a reignition. We have prescription. I think of addiction and codependency. And we have the blank card, creative accountability. Somebody who feels like they've sort of made their bed and now they have to lie in it. All right, pile number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy below um, where you can purchase a personal reading if you feel called to. And if the shop is empty, it just means that I've sold out for the day, but you can check back because I do update the shop daily. So I hope that you have a beautiful day and I hope that you have a great week. Hello, pile number two, you are drawn to the pink rose quartz and this is your reading. The person on your mind, will you ever speak to them again? Will you get some type of closure from this connection? You were drawn to the Ace of Wands here, and you can see it's just a snake that's coming up out of the flames. And so there's a sense of temptation here, and there's a really strong sense of fire and attraction between the two of you. Maybe there's a lot to go over between the two of you. Maybe there's a lot of unfinished business in relation to even not just speaking, but even physical acts. Maybe you feel like there's a lot of unfinished business here. and there is this feeling about danger too associated it feels like with this snake it's like looking at us it's staring us down so the sense of danger associated with the attraction too so let's take a look here will you ever speak again to this person king of wands leo aries sagittarius Will Pile 1 get the closure that they're looking for? Magician. We also have the Temperance. Will you ever speak to this person again? Will you ever get closure in this connection? We have the High Priestess. Oh, I just, I just saw the Three of Cups. We have the Strength. We also have the Hanged Man. Back of the deck, we do have the Three of Cups. I also saw the Five of Cups here as well. It almost feels like we're wasting time. That's what it feels like. We're like wasting opportunity. Maybe we've had opportunity to communicate in the past or this person has had the opportunity to speak to you and they wasted it or they're procrastinating because I feel like they're, they're procrastinating or somebody's procrastinating in this connection. Let's get another deck here and there's this feeling about somebody being really unsatisfied currently and that could be why we want closure in this connection it's because we're not satisfied where we are and so we're, we're trying we're trying to figure out how we got to the place where we're at and when we're starting to rifle through dissatisfaction our awareness goes back to the past where perhaps some of that dissatisfaction started to root and so there's this feeling about a lot of regrets surrounding this connection, a lot of regrets surrounding wasting chances with you, wasting opportunity, wasting time. And now I feel like that same sort of energy of time wasting is being applied even in the disconnect right this moment. We do have the emphasis on relationships, friendships, and reunions as well. And the truth is, is that I feel like I just heard it's only a matter of time. That's what I just heard. There's this feeling about somebody who's outgrowing their environment. They haven't outgrown it completely yet, though, or they haven't been able to execute the necessary steps to remove themselves from it. And it may not be an environment with another person. It just may be a perspective, but they're just they're outgrowing an environment. And they're really starting to reflect upon who the, the choices that they made, the people that they chose in the past as well, like the options that they had. And they're really, they're, they're almost confused about how you're feeling. So I feel like they want closure or some type of clarity just as much as you do. We have the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Now the Ten of Cups can really speak about family units as well. You know, it can speak about, you know, deep connections with other people. It also speaks about the full spectrum and clarity coming in. 
and somebody who's been swallowing their truth for a while. I'm just looking at the pelican. It's like I can see him filled with fish. And there's this feeling about choking on my own truth. Choking on my own emotion. Keeping my emotions a secret. And maybe even, even still now, keeping my emotions a secret for a purpose, for a reason. But it almost feels like they're trying to conjure you up in some type of way. Here's the Eight of Cups. Ooh. We have the Strength, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, and we have the Knight of Swords. I feel like the Divine Feminine here doesn't have enough confidence or follow through to be able to create change. So if you're the Divine Feminine, you may not feel like you're capable of reaching out. If you're like, I can't do that, that's that's something that I have to keep a boundary. I can't I can't reach out. I'm relying on this person to reach out to me. I'm relying on them to create the closure for me. Because there's a sense of helplessness coming in from the divine feminine. And really using that logic to keep yourself in a complacent energy. It's really testing your strength. There is soulmate energy here as well from past life energy coming through too. But that's just a secondary message coming through. And I also, again, I feel like you're in very mirrored situations with this person. I feel like you could be really dissatisfied with what you've accomplished or what you've created for yourself. I think you're dissatisfied with the choices that you've made maybe in life and love. And so we're really hoping that this is kind of the solution. It's like if we can get clo clarity here, um, it doesn't feel like closure. And that's the message coming in from your higher self is that this doesn't feel like our intentions are towards closure. It's, it's, and that's what they want us to understand about our true intentions. They want us to outline our true intentions because they say that if we're looking for closure, it's, it could just ignite and reignite this connection in the future. It's not going to create closure perhaps, but they are also saying that you're going to have to surrender to what's going to be revealed to you because I do feel like there's going to be a reunion of some type, but it's not coming in yet. Now, part of the reason why there's a hesitation or a stagnation is because there's so much limited focus or limited steps being taken by by both of you in the present moment and so that's what's creating some of the delay but also the same like there's this pressure building for both of you for clarity you both have this desire for clarity and it's just a matter of time I keep hearing it's just a matter of time perhaps before this person sort of conjures up this communication they're focused on that but they also are recognizing that now is not the time to do that they have to wait before they can reach out before they can make contact with you they have to wait because of their responsibilities or because of every their energy being pulled in different directions right now so they have intentions they have focus towards reunions or a focus towards some type of of clarity with you and I, I feel like also there's this emphasis on like, I'm not going to let that opportunity go to waste. So perhaps they have this intention towards fire, temptation, um, taking you out. The Three of Cups is very celebratory too. It's like they want, they're looking forward to that moment and they're, they're focused upon it. They want the clarity as well. However, right now that focus is being split between where they're per currently invested and it doesn't have to be another connection, but it can be their work realm. It can just be whatever they're building for themselves right now. But their focus is being split into two. And in order to conjure up and to manifest further connection here, they're going to need all of that energy. So now is not the time for them to approach, but they do have intentions of making some type of contact with you. Now, Spirit says if your priority is towards closure, it definitely feels like the closure quote unquote that we're looking for is going to test us a little bit it's going to be a bit of a temptation perhaps and so there's this feeling about preparing ourselves for that that preparing ourselves here with the high priestess with the eight of shells it says quest and renewal and the eight of cups is about our journey into wholeness and there's this belief of like i'm going to be able to get the full spectrum i'm going to feel whole once i get this information and that's where they want us to deviate from that expectation they want us to work on our own wholeness, our own, you know, clarity, our own heart space and fill that with love because it's not anyone else's responsibility to do that for us. But they do feel like there's going to be further energy between the two of you. It's just not coming in yet. There is a delay and the temperance can speak about it can either be a very short delay or a lengthy delay, depending on how long they feel like they have to invest and sacrifice in this environment. But I feel like it could create some, it could create some decisions that have to be made, it could create a reignition of the connection as well. But there's the Wheel of Fortune and there's the Eight of Wands. Energy equals results. 
The Wheel of Fortune is change and possibilities. And that's what the connection, the communication is going to create for you. It's not going to create the closure, perhaps, that maybe you're looking for. It might create an ignition. But I do feel like there is going to be further contact between you. Will they ever speak again? What does the closure look like in this connection here? We have here messenger. Uh, yep, we're bringing harmony and balance. I think about the page of pentacles. I think about opportunity. We also have star family. You're part of a team of, team of souls. Call in support. We also have on the back of the deck, you're not alone. Physical and isolation and physical connection and community. So the way that you're feeling this Ten of Cups energy, the desire for clarity, the desire for the full spectrum over this person's feelings and intentions towards you is the exact same energy that 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 you are feeling or in the reversal that they are feeling. That there's a very mirrored energy here between the two of you. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. But the only place where we can achieve blessings or receive blessings is in the present moment. So they want you to kind of forget about the past in the present. They want you to kind of move into the present moment and start the process of manifestation. If you want this to be manifested into physical form, then we have to start that process by eliminating the distractions that are steeping, keeping us from that focus. And understand that the when we are sitting in a, a moment of manifestation, when we're trying to reflect upon the next step, sometimes we're going to be prompted to take leaps of faith that maybe we would otherwise not take in order to keep ourselves safe. We have here miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And back of the deck, it says, I love you. It says these are powerful words. And I feel like they've held back those powerful words. Every time I see a harp, I think about that Mickey Mouse where he goes up into the clouds to see the giant to save the harp woman. And the giant puts the harp woman in his left breast pocket. And she sings that song, you know, in the left breast pocket, you'll find the key. Uh, you have to tread carefully. And I feel like this person's been holding back their feelings for you in their heart. And that's where sort of the truth of the connection lies is still within that heart space. And I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to share that as well. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number, whoops, pile number two. We have the eight of wands, communication, pressure to communicate as well coming in. Momentum. It's a little bit stagnated. There's the four of swords because of certain realities that we can't over that we can't overlook in the present. And you may have realities too in the 3D that you also can't overlook. That's why the Divine Feminine doesn't feel confident enough to give in to this pressure to communicate on her own. And so there's a necessity for the delay or necessity for the retreat, at least for now. Because the fours are never a permanent situation for me. We're just bypassing. We're taking a pause in our journey to gather ourselves. So there's more to come. And the spirit wants you to sort of prepare for that. <laughs> it's like you have to be careful what you wish for. It just might come in for you. We do have this snake. And you were drawn to the snake. The letter G is attached to it as well. Oh my goodness, it's stuck there. So the snake is in the bowl. You were drawn to the snake here. We have V and G. I do think of here of it, but that can also be an initial. We have N and we have me versus me. We also have the letter L. We have a screwdriver, and I think about working on something, but it hurts. It's like it, it empowers us in some way, but it also hurts. It's like we have a lot of things to mull over, and they may feel like they have to dig up old wounds with you or, you know, really speak about old wounds. We do have December being significant here with the present and a gift coming in, but we have the tower falling over. So permanent reflections or permanent epiphanies coming in that leads to permanent change. Somebody could also be worried about a foundation that they've invested in or a family unit falling over if they do act now. That's why now is not the time. And the snake of temptation. All right, pile two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. Be sure to check out my links for Etsy as well for a personal reading. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three. You were drawn to the red agate, and you were also drawn here to the magic mirror, um, the moon card. And this is your reading. Will you ever speak to the person on your mind again? Will you get closure in this connection? The moon card speaks about a lot of suppression between the two of you. A lot of suppression, suppressing even some of the notes of intuition that were leading the two of you together. It, it's this mirror. 
It says the magic mirror, and it's coming up out of the waves of emotion here. So it's like through the separation, they've had to be forced to kind of hold a mirror in front of themselves in relation to you and a connection. And they are, I feel like they're almost like afraid of what they're seeing there because it's like they're afraid that they've missed some type of chance with you. You may also feel like this as energy is reversed as well, that you feel some of these feelings too. It also speaks to sort of trusting your intuition to guide you from this point based on the lessons that you've learned in this connection in the past. So let's take a look here. Will you ever speak again or get closure in this connection? The future of this connection revealed. What can you tell me, please? There's like so many, I feel like there's so many mysteries it's like this person's a mystery to you and you're a mystery to them. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. I also feel like there's a blame game going on. And you may be blaming yourself. But there's like this blame game going on. Somebody's being really hard on themselves in the situation. And part of this blame game or part of these messages that are really inhibiting the situation or inhibiting the mind are telling us that it wasn't that deep anyway. Or it's like, it's just tell, it's negating all of the true emotions that are within us. It's like negating all of those emotions. It's operating off of what they think to be true based on this limited perspective. We have the Ace of Wands. It almost feels like accusatory. It's like if they charged forward right now, they would like accuse you of not caring about them or something. But that's not the case. They're operating off of information they they think that they know. We have the Eight of Wands. Oh my goodness, we have the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups. That's beautiful, beautiful, optimistic energy. We have the Judgment. We also have the Hierophant. Now, this Judgment is this period of reflection that has been consistent during this phase. It's very much closely linked to the Moon here because oftentimes some of our reflections will start in our dream realm. So you could be dreaming about this person and maybe they were starting to dream about you as well. And that's really ignited more thoughts about the past, more thoughts about you. And the judgment's purpose is to get us moving again. You can see these people rising from the dead because they've been judged. Now they get a brand new lease on life. They get a brand new chance, another chance. And that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like closure, if I'm honest. It feels like they want some type of other chance. They want, if in a perfect world, they would get another chance. And here at the Hierophant, there's the Page of Swords. There's this feeling about kind of, spending too much time watching and not enough time doing and there's an acknowledgement of that of like you know what i've held back for too long and i don't want to hold back at all anymore because there's this huge deviation between this eight of swords and somebody who's just like i'm i'm so tired of holding myself back i'm going to charge forward i'm going to use my sword i'm going to slice open all of these binds and i'm going to charge forward because i feel inspired to do something i feel inspired for action or change and i may be operating off of a limited perspective but the only way that i'm going to gain more information is by charging through that unknown and facing it the problem right now is that they're feeling inspired but i feel like they haven't quite tapped into the confidence that they need to actually achieve this goal i feel like this person was a friend of yours maybe in the past and they did not want to just maintain a friendship. And this has been a theme that's been through all three piles today. Very different results, but all three piles. It's like friends from the past. So I feel like collectively, there is this... Collectively, I feel like there is this longing for reconnection from pe people from our past. You're coming towards an ability of a crossroads. There's, a, there's the potential for a huge evolution. And in the very least, wh wherever this takes us, because I feel like there are going to be reunions here for you. I feel like there's going to be further communication, further reunions in some way. Um, in the very least, it frees us from this perspective because it's going to offer us more information. We have the Eight of Wands and we have the Hierophant as well. And here's the Eight of Wands, which is, again, the pressure to communicate. It's like a momentum, a desire. And then we have them making a wish making a wish and it's like it's not just a wish it can be a goal and we can achieve our goal ultimately if we stop holding ourselves back 
the moon with the queen of swords. They are operating from this belief system that if you wanted to talk to them, you would be communicating with them. But that's just a way for them to procrastinate. I still feel like they're going to, they're feeling the pressure to communicate. But sometimes when they're wearing masks, because in this moon card, you can see she's looking at her mask. It's kind of like holding a mirror in front of our face. And when they're wearing that mask, they allow themselves to go into that limited perspective of like, well, if they really wanted to talk to me, they'd talk to me. They'd, call, they'd contact me. They would put the effort in. But that just sorts of creates resistance and puts them back into this limitation. Hoping that you'll be the one to reach out. Because then it saves them from having to build up the confidence that's needed. But we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Sun. This person was... It's like they wore whatever mask you needed them to wear in the past. It's like they'll be whoever you need them to be. But the sun is also speaking about clarity and how it took them some time, maybe even a couple of years in this disconnect, to be able to come to this revelation about you and about the purpose of the connection, about the desires that they had. Uh, they were always very physically attracted to you. And they don't feel like you have any reason to worry. That's why they don't understand why you wouldn't reach out. It's like in their mind, you don't have anything to worry about because you're this beautiful queen of pentacles and you're so capable and smart and attractive and independent. And, and again, they, they do this so that it puts more of the weight on the other person's shoulders. And we all do that sometimes. It would all be easier for all of us if the other person took the step towards us. We do have the ace of wands though. I feel like you're also feeling that same inspiration, the same pressure that they're feeling to communicate. You're feeling it too. It is a mirrored energy here. And that was also a message that was for all three piles today. But this pile, pile three, you chose a wonderful pile because this is the most conclusive, the conclusive evidence or the conclusive outcome of reunions that I'm, I'm seeing today. They want you to go confidently towards that that perspective or that goal because they say that a wish is not just a wish it's a goal and we turn it into a real thing by taking action upon that goal so you may give into the pressure and communicate with this person perhaps as well and we have the seven of swords we have here the page of swords and we have the queen of cups i feel like you guys are watching each other um, online, perhaps. Maybe you guys are keeping tabs on each other. I also feel like you went to school with this person, perhaps, for someone watching. You may have gone to school with them. During this reunion, I feel like masks are coming off. So I feel like there's going to be more, more clarity, more communication. I even feel like you guys are going to go out together, maybe have drinks or have fun in some type of capacity because it's very celebratory. It's like we have a lot of fun. It's very abundant. And throughout that, there could be masks being worn, and that's the opportunity to take masks off. You won't be able to rely on this person to take their masks off in this moment. Spirit says you'll have to take the masks off and create that space of vulnerability. Back of the deck, there is the Queen of Pentacles, or Queen of Cups as well with that Knight of Swords. I almost feel like it might be the Divine Feminine that gives into the momentum first, ultimately. But I still see a celebration. I still see reunions and the ability to be able to clear out the cycle Let's ask Spirit, though, about what to expect as far as closure. Does this look like closure in the future of this connection, please? Is it going to be closure in the future of this connection? Five of Pentacles. Ooh. It's like a turn of events in our favor, but then the reality with the clarity for some watching, some of the clarity is going to be connecting to where you're at in life at this point, where they are at, at in this life at this point. Some of you may have moved into commitment cycles, and so there's going to be revelations about kind of hesitations, maybe not being satisfied in that environment, but hesitations towards more because of practical losses. So it almost feels like regretfully I can't continue this or regretfully I can't move into a relationship with you at this time because there's clarity coming. It doesn't feel like 100% closure though because it feels like there's disappointment at some of the information that comes in. We have the Nine of Cups. Back of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles and there's that Page of Swords. 
And there's this, all of these cups are upside down. It's like they're raining down upon this garden. And the nine of cups here is all about wishes coming true and, and sort of a fulfillment. It's like we get very close to wishes coming true and fulfillment with the nines. We don't quite move into the community cards of the tens yet, but we get some part of our wish coming true in relation to reconnection. And that's going to happen. For others, though, once the, the masks come off, once we start to clarify our feelings, clarify the situations that we're in, there is this revelation of like, we could have had it all together. There's like this loss energy of like, I had no idea you felt that way and you had no idea I felt that way and we wasted so much time, we wasted so much energy and it's kind of sad that we weren't able to build that foundation. And it could even mean that there's foundations in place right now that inhibit that further growth ultimately. But it's like we get so close to completely everything that we want, but there's still a slight hesitation beyond that point. But I do feel reunions are coming in. I don't feel like this connection is over. There will perhaps be some type of domino or trickle effect when it comes to the reconnection. So it doesn't feel like it's closing out the cycle. I feel like even communication could continue beyond that point. Thanks, please. Lost land, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Past life energy. A reunion of souls between the two of you and earth school life lessons soul growth study and higher learning and portal doors are opening and you'll decide rewards and wild cards so it doesn't feel like closure reconnection yes but closure probably not doors are opening there's an emphasis on schooling emphasis on earth school so in a very practical real sense but also on the lessons that you guys have learned have been very powerful lessons Ever speak again the future of this connection please I just got this message about the pussy willow here with these two little pussy willows and they're talking about two people who are pussyfooting around the connection in the past you may pussyfoot around during the reunion as well a little bit it's like you're going to be wearing heavy masks as you're, because you're going to be reuniting and it's going to be fun it's going to be exciting but you might pussy they keep saying pussyfoot you might pussyfoot around the truth my pussyfoot around the reality. We have here coy spirit. Coy spirit, there's always enough. Woo. On the floor, we have here a spirit has your back with the eagle spirit. And the back of the deck says owl spirit, you see clearly now. And there's an emphasis on the queen of swords. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have Taurus here, very strong Scorpio, Leo energy, lots of energies floating around. But they are emphasizing here the divine feminine energy and how you can see things clearly now and how she is sometimes the well she is the leader of communication she leads by example she's an educator and so you may have to be the one during that during that reunion to be vulnerable first to get the ball rolling otherwise we could waste our time in levity and weather talk and you know catching up type of energy and spirit says we we during that opportunity we need to get down to the nitty-gritty and take masks masks off Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. It's for pile number three in the bowl. We have the three of pentacles reversed, the king of cups, and the eight of swords reversed. Now, the thing is that really stops this person from reaching out is that they don't think they have your support. Or they don't think that you feel the same way. They may also be worried about their three of pentacles or a foundation that they have worked towards um crumbling it's like they feel like there's something that's holding them back or a practical element that's holding them back i feel like this person has deep emotions for you we have pisces cancer scorpio here in the back of the deck or i'm sorry in the bowl we also have water energy for the queen of cups and there's like a motherhood fatherhood vibe that i'm feeling as well so there's this feeling about having to turn their backs on their feelings for you out of necessity it's like otherwise how do they get any work done we have lots of letters, so you can get a little pinch here. We have O and P and T. Just heard Beyonce's love on top. We have W, J and G in the bowl. We do have the honeybee, and I think about self-sacrifice with the honeybee. It's like we're sacrificing what we want for the good of the hive. We do have the nine of pentacles, so position being um, important. And we have a second honeybee and handmade. I think of children, so children could be a factor right now for either one of you. 
but you still act as a distraction in that environment. We also have a penny here. It is from 2008, and they're talking about communication, profound communication coming in, opportunities for communication, perhaps even within the year for someone watching. All right, pile three, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. I'm praying for you. Um, your guides have given you an overview of what to expect in the future, but they're going to walk with you no matter what path you choose to take here. Um, but that is your reading. Please drop your comment below if you feel called to. If you feel called to be entered in for the free reading option, be sure to drop your comment below and hit your notification bell. You can also check out my links below for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. And I just hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day.